guys um welcome back or welcome to my channel if you haven't seen it before um this video is basically just going to be me talking about the pros and cons of cardiff university and cardiff as a whole so i mean if you're not interested in coming to cardiff or you already go here then you're probably going to find it really really boring um but hopefully the aim is it will help somebody out there who's considering cardiff uni or who's um applied and they're thinking about what accommodation to put down or something like that so um i hope you enjoy it First up, I just tell you a bit about myself. I'm 19 now. Uh, I was 18 when I came to uni. I came straight out of sick form, and I'm studying physiotherapy at Cardiff. Um, and I've nearly finished my first year. My last exams on the 28th of May. Um, so I'm basically at the end. I've just got to get through my exams. Uh, yeah, that's me. First thing I'm going to talk about is Cardiff in general, like the city. So I've made a little list of some things. They're pretty much all good things. I couldn't really think of any negative things about Cardiff. Um, so these are all good things. First one is the transport links are really good. So I live in London normally and I can get the train here to Cardiff Central or I can get the coach, which I normally do because it's a lot cheaper. And um, they've got like National Express and Megabus and it goes to the university stop. You don't even have to go right into town. Uh, so that's really good. Also, the shops here are really, really good. It's kind of like they've got all the shops you would find in London, but they've just got one of them instead of having like 10, which London has. Uh, they've got a really good shopping centre called the St. David Centre, which has just got everything you need in it. Uh, and also there's loads of places to eat in town, like... There's loads of chain places, Waggers, and all like the fast food places, and they've got Nando's, Bella Italia, like they've got everything, and then they've got loads of really nice independent independent places to eat as well, which is always a positive. Not that I really go out much because I can't afford it. Um, they've also got like a little selling point for Cardiff is they've got Cardiff Bay, which obviously other universities don't have, um, and it's really scenic there, and it's like a really n nice afternoon out. Um, there's also loads of places to eat there, so like it's a good place to go out in the evening. Like you can eat out, you can have some cocktails, or you can go there um, in the daytime, a nice little day trip. You can walk across the barrage to the marina. Like there's loads to do. Um, another good thing is everything in Cardiff is basically within walking distance. Like it's not like ten minutes around the corner, but you can walk everywhere. And if you don't fancy walking, then you can use Next Bike, which is uh, this company that's got like lots of bike stations around Cardiff. And if you link up with the university, you get 30 minutes free cycling a day and you can cycle from like stop to stop. So we've got one at our accommodation where you can pick up your bike and then I can cycle to uni, which is at the hospital, or I can cycle into town. And it's just so much quicker than walking and it's obviously free and it's good for you so that's always positive the next topic is clubs and like places to go out in the evening they've got loads they've got uh prism they've got live lounge revs walkabout soda like there's somewhere you can go every day of the week so if it's like your birthday or something you want to go out on a tuesday there's places to go everywhere's got like a student night each night so you know where it's going to be cheapest i mean i think the best place to go out is to the student union but you know that's just my opinion um, and the prices for drinks and stuff, it's a lot cheaper than London, obviously. But I don't know if it's as cheap as, like, up north. I don't really know, but it's not expensive, drastically. Um, especially if you go out on a student night. So that's the main stuff that I could think of about Cardiff itself. There's probably way more, and there's probably negatives as well, but I just couldn't think of any. Um, so now I'm going to move on to the university. So the university... I was thinking up the good points about it and the students union's really good like they're just building I don't actually know what they're doing to it they've been building on it for ages like it's still functional but I think they're just making it prettier uh, and stuff but they do really good nights out on a Wednesday which is kind of like after all the sport matches so a lot of sports teams go out on a Wednesday but anyone can go uh, and that event's called YOLO and then on a Saturday as well they do an event called Juice um, and it's just like really cheap drinks and like sort of everyone goes out to juice on a saturday uh, it's a really good night out um lots of my friends from different unis have come and they've said it's good uh also to do with the uni they've got like 
hundreds and hundreds of sporting clubs and societies. This year I joined the uni netball team and um, they've got six teams um, and like you have to trial to get in and stuff but if you don't get in then you can go and you can play in IMG netball or medics netball like there's loads of different places you can play whether you want to do it really competitively or if you just want to do it for fun and um, they've also got like every sports team you can think of I can't be bothered to list them right now because that would take me like forever and they've got loads of societies as well I'm in the PAC society which means physiotherapy at Cardiff Woo. Also, the other good things about the uni is it's the Russell Group uni, which like I suppose doesn't really matter, but it's just a positive selling point. Um, it's city based, so the buildings are kind of spread out, which is it can be good, can be bad. Like it depends if you want a city uni or a campus uni. Um, but I, I don't really think it's kind of just a point, not really a good or bad point. Um, for me, I'm a healthcare based student so I walk from my accommodation which is Taliban to the hospital which is kind of like the opposite direction to the other buildings the rest of the university is like down uh, towards town um, which is a bit annoying if I wanted to go from like the hospital into town which I don't ever really do though so it doesn't really matter but yeah and it's about a 25 minute walk to the hospital um, oh yeah that's a bad thing there aren't really any buses like you kind of have to walk everywhere or get a next bike uh, I've looked into it a little bit like you can get buses into town and stuff but there's not a bus that runs from the accommodation to um, Heath which is really annoying so you have to get up and leave enough time to get into uni mostly people cycle and um, there's a cycle path all the way to Heath uh, which is really handy because it's so much quicker uh, another good uh, another bad thing even is the sporting facilities aren't great they're not horrendous like they have got a gym um, by the student union which is it's quite good I haven't been there myself but I've looked in like it looks pretty good uh, the gym at the Taliban accommodation is tiny and there's no pool this uni doesn't have a pool but there is a leisure centre down the road that has got a pool so people use that. Last thing I'm going to talk about is the accommodation. So for me I'm at Taliban North so I'm just going to talk about Taliban North because I don't really know about any of the other accommodation. Um, the reason I picked Tally North is because it's really really cheap um, and like I didn't get a massive student loan and I didn't want to waste it on accommodation anyway. So and it's also like the Taliban accommodation is known as the more social accommodation. Taliban North is self-catered um, accommodation, and you're sort of based uh, in a block of flats, which is called your house. So I'm House G, flat six, and in Taliban there's like lots of different houses in Taliban North, and we're all letters. And then you've got Taliban South, which is a bit closer to town. Um, but it's all joined together and there they have houses also but they're flats of eight rather than six because I'm in a flat of six and they're named after numbers um, and they're the two cheaper ones Taliban North's the cheapest then Taliban South but Taliban North there's lots of bad things about it I'll go through the bad things so I think I might be in like the cheapest accommodation that the university offers so it's um, it's very old and bits of it are falling apart like my door um, yeah I'll just show you my door quickly so that's my door like it doesn't really matter because I can still use it and stuff but that's just an example so it's falling apart a little bit but not like it's still livable it's fine I don't mind um we do have cleaners that come in once a week but they don't actually clean they go into your kitchen um sometimes they'll wipe down the worktops and they'll basically write you a notice that says you need to take your bins out by tomorrow uh, or you need to do your washing up by tomorrow or you're gonna get fined and then they'll come back the next day and if you haven't done it they'll fine you um which is really really annoying and I can't wait to get rid of them to be honest and move into a house next year um also the accommodation is very small so my flat 
is tiny um so that's my bed i've just got all my revision stuff on at the moment there's some shelves there this is my wardrobe that's my door and then that is the bathroom which is just like a little shower room um which is good yeah i suppose that's a good thing it's ensuite um but it does mean that your room's compromised because of it so my room is the smallest room in the flat and it's like a square the other five rooms are long and slightly bigger but they pay like slightly more because of that um yeah probably the last thing to do with the accommodation like bad wise is <laughs> when i came to uni i was prepared you know to be woken up at night by like people going out and like music and stuff like that's fine that's part of university life but do you know what that has not been a problem at all the biggest problem is the bloody seagulls that hang out in the tree outside my window honestly they are the most annoying thing in the world they just screech all night especially when i get to bed when i'm trying to revise okay it just frustrates me so much okay i'm glad that's off my chest yeah the birds the birds so annoying you can't go to sleep with your window open because of the stupid birds but then if you shut your window you get too hot it's just a dilemma the good things about the accommodation are yeah so it's really really social there's always somebody having a prees if you want to go out or like you know i'm lucky i have a really nice flat loads of good flatmates also um a nice little surprise i found out about when i came here like they didn't advertise it at all but the taliban it, um kind of complex is right next to a park and it's a really big park called butte park and it's got um the river taff running through it uh, and it's just really nice you can just go and like hang out there in the summer um, people have barbecues there and you can cycle through it and walk through it to get to town and to Cardiff Castle uh, it's just really really nice it's right near the training facilities so like when we practice for netball I literally walk two minutes and the sports hall was there uh, I don't know how true that is for all sports though but I know netball like basketball volleyball golf ball they all train there um, it's a reasonable distance to town so you can walk if you're going on a night out or you just want to walk into town you can walk fine or you can get an uber and it'll only cost like four quid five quid uh which is pretty good yeah last thing it's right next to a giant tesco it's like the biggest tesco i've ever seen um and there's a mackie's and a kfc literally like a two minute walk away uh, and they're just building an audi which i'm really annoyed about because i'm gonna be in a house next year and i'm not going to be right next to the audi which i'm really annoyed about but anyway it'll be good for anybody thinking about cardiff like it's literally like a two minute walk so that's pretty much all the stuff i could think about um i just thought i'd like make this quick video just to help anyone out there who's thinking about cardiff or who wants to kind of prepare for cardiff and not sure where accommodation they're going to pick and stuff so hopefully this helps you out uh, sorry, it's basically just been me chatting away, um, but hopefully it will help somebody. So, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, and comment if you have any other questions about the university that you want me to answer, and I'll try and do my best.